Chapter 2. A Stern Warning The next morning, Mittens and Whiskers sat dejectedly in the staff room, picking at their dry food. The events of the previous night weighed heavy on their minds. Can you believe the nerve of that unagai? grumbled Whiskers, threatening to throw us out just for a bit of fun. Mittens said nothing. Forehead furrowed as she replayed the nurse's merciless words. Unagi meant business this time. One more infraction, and they'd lose their home and nightly routine. Worst of all, they might not be able to see Eleanor or the other patients anymore. The thought made her stomach knot with anxiety. Just then, the staff room door swung open to reveal Unagi herself, face as stern and unforgiving as ever. You two, with me now, she ordered brusquely. Heart racing, Mittens followed Whiskers out into the corridor, where Unagi fixed them with a steely glare. Let me make one thing clear, she began in clipped tones. This hospital runs on rules, in order for the well-being of our patients. Your little midnight escapades undermine that structure, and I won't tolerate any further disruption. Do you understand? Whiskers opened his mouth to argue, but Mittens nudged him urgently, signaling to keep quiet. Unagi continued without waiting for their response. From now on, you will remain in the staff room after hours without exception. Any infraction will result in immediate expulsion from the premises. Am I clear? Mittens mewled sadly while Whiskers glared defiantly at the ground, tail lashing. Unagi didn't seem to expect an answer. Good. Now get back in there and don't let me catch sight of you outside again, or there will be consequences. Dismissed. She turned briskly on her heel, marching off to resume her rounds. Mittens and Whiskers watched her go, dismayed at how tightly their leash had now been pulled. Their secret nightly mission was all but impossible under such strict conditions. Later that evening, as the sunlight faded and nurses began their switchovers, Mittens peered glumly from the staff room window at the darkening corridor she knew so well. Normally, her heart would fill with excitement at this hour, eager to spread cheer. But now, her chest felt hollow at prospect of a joyless night, cooped up indoors. A soft whimper escaped her. Whiskers looked up from where he'd been moodily shredding a scrap of newspaper. His eyes softened at the desolation in her face. Hey now, chin up, sis. We'll figure something out, I promise. Mittens wasn't so sure. What if? What if we can't visit Eleanor ever again? I'm worried about how she'll cope all alone. A single tear rolled down her cheek at the thought of losing their beloved friend. Whiskers licked her ear comfortingly. Eleanor's strong. She'll pull through. And don't you forget, we're no ordinary cats. We're masters of stealth and trickery. If anyone can outwit that old bag, Unagi, it's us. He puffed out his chest bravely, but Mittens wasn't convinced. Unagi seemed to have them cornered this time. As the last of the day's light faded away, so too did her hopes of escaping their prison and returning to their vital mission of spreading joy. The future had never looked bleaker.